giant, you know, uh, traditional industry business model set in place from waste management, and then you have kind of a lean startup um, trying to be a revolutionary, but with a small army. How, how do you manage that relationship so that it has, uh, it's beneficial to both sides, and yet kind of still preserves your core mission? Just an easy question. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, let's appreciate this as a new relationship. We're three or four months into it. Um, we're transitioning our assets over. We're getting them included in our pipeline. We're creating collateral. Um, but there are some discrete concerns, uh, not because we've experienced anything yet, but just, just because of the lopsided nature of this. The first concern is that you know we're putting them right in front of our brand. And the waste management has spent hundreds of millions of dollars creating a brand that is very sensitive to. And we're putting a fairly small um, you know, brand in front of that. Uh, so that, that's, a, that's a concern. Uh, two, just scale. I mean, if waste management uh, hands these folks two million curbside customers this year, can they scale and support those? I mean, there's a delivery system that these guys, it's, it's, that is significant. I mean, their backbone is, is you know, there's a lot of technology there. So there's a, there's a concern that maybe they can't scale. Um, you know, three, it is, let's face it, it's cannibalistic, right? I mean, we're, we're uh, particularly with some of the uh, partnerships that they have, is sort of cannibalistic to us. And then fourth, I mean, I think as they become a well-known brand and can broaden into those other areas, maybe their focus goes away from our partnership, which we might say we helped get there. And so there are three or four areas of concern, but having said that, I think the, the teams are working very well together. Um, the, the focus is there. Uh, they're, they've integrated well and they're executing well. So as of right now, I mean, it, uh, it seems to be working out pretty well. Yeah, I would just add that you, you, on the surface, you're right. I mean, in a sense, it's sort of like two odd bedfellows, right? But, but I think that's sort of the point. I mean, from our perspective, uh, I think any early stage enterprise uh, is, is faced with the challenge, I mean, maybe there's sort of proof of concept, but how do you actually scale uh, the business uh, to have a much more significant impact? And that's one of the uh, fundamental challenges for early, any early stage business. Um, and I think that's in part, from our point of view, the opportunity here is uh, through the partnership and, and, and the fact that waste management has contractual relationships with tens of millions of households a, across the country, it is uh, sort of this channel, this path to uh, scalability that will take place hopefully much quicker than would have been possible otherwise. So uh, that to us is incredibly exciting and I think we offer some unique value to waste management and Joe's articulated that. I think one thing I would say, um, two other comments I would make, um, and, and we talked about this a little bit over the phone beforehand, but you know, prior to this, we sort of saw one another as, as competitors because as Joe talked about, they had developed essentially a competitive product in the marketplace called Greenopolis. So there's this whole interesting backstory, I think, about you know, sort of somehow getting from the point where we sort of saw each other as competitive in the marketplace to actually beginning to engage in a conversation about, well, you know, what might a partnership look like and how could we actually bring value to one another. And, and so that's an interesting part of the backstory. But one other thing I would say, uh, and we haven't talked about this, but I know that as a leadership team at Recycle Bank, um, you know, sort of uh, as the deal was quote unquote getting done, um, we felt that, uh, you know, how the relationship gets sort of birthed sets the tone for uh, the longer term duration of the relationship. So especially as a smaller business, and waste management has a lot more to think about than just recycling, I can assure you of that. But we felt it was really, really important to be extremely mindful of, of building relationships, critical relationships within the waste management organization. I mean, in a very sort of face-to-face, -face, uh, personal way. So we made uh, an effort uh, to spend time in Houston and really getting to know uh, the organization, broadly speaking. Uh, and, and then really getting to know the key sort of champions and partners within the waste management organization. And, you know, that'll continue over time, but we've tried to be quite deliberate about that in these early stages.